Hello, my name is Anthony Redamonti and I'm with Copley Controls. Today I'm going to show you how to step through a CVM program. So on startup or reset, CVM is automatically running if there's a program in here. So if you want to make any changes, you just hit the stop button. Okay. Um, so here we can see that um, there's only sequence three has steps in it. So there's a get set parameter step and a set output uh, step after that in sequence three. But let's say that you know you have a ton of um, a ton of steps in here. It's a very complicated program. Um, how would you you know if something isn't uh, working or isn't doing it what you want to do? Uh, so how do you uh, use the step a single step uh, feature? Well, let's click on this button here, and it goes to waiting for the go or priority active. So now I'm going to stop. Uh, so I'm going to exit the single stepper here. I'm going to go back to program, the program tab, the setup tab, and the debug tab. So I'm going to go to actually the setup tab is what I'm going to go to. So <clears throat> the pointer said I was waiting for the go command. <clears throat> this is the go command here, and um, we're going to use a register to initiate the go for this example. Uh, we're also going to use the register or a register to select a sequence. So I'm going to use R0 for both the selection and the go command. So let's go back to single stepping through, waiting for the go. Okay, so I have to set R0 to a certain value in CVM. So when we say R0, what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about the register values in CVM. So CVM has its own registers that are separate from the drive's registers. The drive has its own internal registers. CVM has its, its own <clears throat> registers. So here we have um, R0 through R31. They're all initiated with, uh, initialized with the uh, value 0. If I want to get a register value, I just type IR1, IR2, enter, IR3, enter, and that'll get the register value. If I want to overwrite a register value, I would just say IR1, 45, enter, and you can see how the value updates. So now I want to write <clears throat> IR0, because that's the register that we're using to initiate the go and sequence selection. IR0, 0x3. So 8 <clears throat> is bit 15, and that's the go bit. And then 3 represents the sequence that we're selecting. So going back to our program, sequence 3, that's where we're, the sequence we're selecting. So I hit enter. So this in hex is 32,771. Now if I go here, it's no longer waiting for the go because I sent that command. It's now branching to the selected index. Okay, calling the next step. So it's going to get the parameter. Okay, so I asked it to get the uh, value 3a in RAM, which is the VLOOP limit, and display it in R1. And that's what that value is. I'm going to keep stepping through. So start of the set output beam. This should set output 1. And yep, we see up there, output 1 went from off to on. And now we're waiting again for the go. So in this way, you can step through CVM programs to um, see where uh, your program might be doing something unexpected or just for debugging purposes. Uh, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and I uh, hope this was helpful.